Hey everyone, um, today's video just deals with this GT3 um, radio. I got this for Christmas. Uh, I recently started using it in Houston. We've had our historic freeze, so uh, I decided this was the best time to kind of mess around with this. And so uh, at first when I got it, it was a little overwhelming. There's a lot of buttons, but uh, it's not too difficult to figure out. So this is just a quick overview of uh, the radio. So. Uh, up here you can see this uh, volume knob, Frequency mode. that's how you turn it on, so you just turn it to uh, the volume that you want, and uh, there you go. On, Frequency mode. on the left hand side you have the, uh, the call button, so the PTT, uh, you can use this to transmit on this frequency up here that you see, um, and you have call, and the most inter interesting thing about call is that it's actually a radio, so you hit call. So you don't really appreciate that until you have no power and the cell networks are overloaded and you can't really uh, get any data. So uh, you know we're just making a fire listening to uh, some of the radio. So um, an interesting thing about this is that if you have it on the radio and you choose to make a call, uh, it'll still uh, go through. It'll just interrupt the radio and you'll be able to hear the person on the other side trying to talk to you. So let's talk a little bit about the radio. So call let's go back to this so you have two options here you have VFO and MR channel mode. so that's channel mode and frequency then this is mode. frequency mode and so the difference between the two of these is that channel mode, channel mode. requires you to um, one, two, have seven, something pre-programmed so you one, see that two, zero, zero 127 I'm not exactly sure um, how that functions right now uh, in time I will but if you go to VFO frequency mode, uh, frequency mode you can actually see that um, you can type in the number so 15182 so 15182 uh, well it went to 7 not exactly sure oh I hit 7 so um, I thought that was 0 0 is over here um, so that's how you end up changing the frequency here uh, just some quick tips so you can lock this by holding the key a uh, little key over here so hold it Lock. And now you've locked it. So, um, quick tip: you can also unlock by doing the same thing. Unlock. You can lower the um, the wattage that you're using uh, by tapping this as well. So tap it, and now you see that L. That means low. So that's at two watts. Uh, if you hit this again, you're on high. So that's eight watts. So um, just some quick tips for how to kind of navigate that and change it. If you want to go into the menu and actually change it on your own, menu. you just hit menu and you are given all the options. So on the right side, you see that blinking zero that goes from one to 40. So you can reset everything to go back to its default settings if you'd like, or you can go in and manu manually change them. So um, right now the step, so if you don't know, the step is actually uh, how you change the, uh, the frequency. So. Uh, right now I'm at 50k. In order to change this, you see that arrow going up. Oh, menu. So let's go that. The arrow means that you're selecting a menu item, and so let's hit AB. Uh, maybe it's not AB. Frequency step. There we go. You hit menu again, and then you can change the frequency step and all that. So uh, if you're looking to get more precise, you would go down here to 2.5k. Um, if you want to make larger leaps in changing the frequency you go to five, so um, that's how you change the step. So if you want to go up, you can see TXP is high uh, because we changed it to high. So let's go back and uh, let's change it to low. Menu. Now we're on low, so that's the that's the wattage. So now it's uh, at two watts. So uh, let's go, let's keep going through. Uh, you have a lot of menu items here. You also have, uh, I, I would say that the most important one that anyone can figure out is the um, the language. If you buy this and you immediately start using it, you will. Oh, and you can change the color of the LED here uh, based off of what you're doing. So um, you can do that too. Uh, let's see. Reset. I probably passed it up already. Ah, just really quickly. So here's where you can change the bandwidth. So wide, narrow, 
currently using narrow because I'm using um, a specific uh, frequency that uh, requires that. So, oop. menu. Menu. Oh, here we go. It's voice. So you hit voice. Go to Chinese. Now it's speaking Chinese to you. So let's go back to English. Cool. Now we're back on English. So. Um, how does this work? So you get two frequencies up here. You get um, the top and the bottom and you swap it using AB. So there you go, up and bottom. So hey guys, sorry my phone got full. Um, so let's finish this. Frequency so, mode. So I bought two, so we have two of these um, and my wife has the other one on the other side and at first I was trying to figure out, okay, how do I contact her um, using this walkie-talkie. Well, first you have to set the frequency. So my frequencies are preset to this. Um, if you look at this chart, these are the frequencies that we're using. Um, it's open. So just really quickly, um, this is how to contact another radio. So you swap over to the setting that you, the frequency you want to set. I currently have it set at 151940. Um, and the other radio is set up to that as well. So. Um, I'm going to test right now. So, hey Anisha, can you say something? Yes. <laughs> uh, and that's how you have it set up. So, so another thing this radio has is a light. So you just hit Moni, and a light turns on. So this is a completely dark room. This is the power of the light. It's not very strong, but it's a light. You can strobe, and that's about it. Um, hopefully that helps anyone um, using this radio to kind of communicate to another radio just very quickly. Um, you know, obviously do your own research. Don't operate on bandwidths that you're not allowed to operate on uh, with certain frequencies. And um, you'll have a good one. Take care. Bye-bye.